Hi, my name is Kim and I'm one of the folks over at Kaya Climb supporting the season of USA Climbing Competitions. This video is designed to support you through all of the steps you need to understand to download Kaya, create a new account, find and pay for your USA Climbing official event, uh, and to begin competing. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is download Kaya from the App Store. Uh, Kaya is available for free in the Google Play Store and in the Apple App Store. Uh, just search for Kaya and you'll see the signature black screens and the green lines, Kaya, the Climbers app, and then go ahead and download from there. So once you download Kaya and open up Kaya, it's gonna prompt you to create a new account you wanna sign up with either an existing Google, Facebook, Apple account, or create your own email and password combination. Just remember the way that you log in because you'll use the same authentication process on all parts of the platform. So I'm gonna sign up with an existing Google account that I created for this demo. And here you're gonna input the name of the competitor. So make sure that name matches up exactly with how the competitor's name is listed in the USAC membership database. You can select any username. Um, and then here, Kaya will prompt you for some information about yourself. Um, you don't need to fill out the top piece. Um, you do need to list your sex. And then here, when you agree to the terms, privacy policy and CCPA, I just wanna call one thing out for USA climbing specifically. Um, if you are between the ages of 13 and 18, by clicking yes to the terms privacy policy and CCPA, you're acknowledging that you have parental consent to download and use Kaya as an app. And if your competitor is under the age of 13, then parents, you need to create the accounts on behalf of your competitor. Uh, and you also need to be the ones to use the account or another designated guardian um, will be the ones to use Kaya, but we do not support Kaya for youth under the age of 13. You can opt in for Kaya communications. You can keep up to date on all new things Kaya. And then here, I would suggest that you follow uh, and select gyms that you are going to be competing at. Um, this just gives us a chance to give you information about the gym, makes it a little bit easier for you to find the gym. Um, here, I'm going to use uh, Sendpoint South, which is a fake Kaya gym, um, and walk you through a whole you know, fake event at Sendpoint South. So I'm gonna select that gym here. You can select multiple gyms if you know you're gonna compete at multiple gyms. Here you designate a home gym, which you can always change if you move from different gyms. Um, and then now I'm being welcomed into Kaya. Uh, we'll tell you a little bit about how, how Kaya works for you um, beyond just the competitions, um, training tools, logging, indoor and outdoor climbs. And now I have successfully created a new account in Kaya. Um, I can play around with the different Kaya features, but I'm actually gonna stop right here and then show you the next piece of this flow, which is finding your event and paying for your event on kayaclimb.com. This next step of the process happens on the kayaclimb.com website as opposed to in the app. And I'm sure some of you are wondering why we created these extra steps. Um, the long and short of it is that in-app purchases, uh, the app stores charge a pretty hefty 30% surcharge. So for a $30 USA climbing event, that cost would become $39 if we put all the payment in the app directly. And we felt that cost was just prohibitive. So in order to try and keep the event as accessible as possible, we created a new payment flow on the Kaya Climb website that I'm gonna walk you through right now. Here I am on the Kaya Climb website and in the upper right hand corner, you see a login button. Go ahead and click that button to log in. And here you'll be prompted to sign into your Kaya account. Just remember the exact same way that you created your account will be the way you log in here on Kaya. I used my Gmail account. And now I'm taken to what is the Kaya store. And here you see a list of all of the active USA climbing official events. 
Uh, you'll note the title of the event has the gym name in it. You'll see the dates that the event is for. And here in the search bar, which is the easiest way to find your event, you can search using the name of the gym that you will be competing at. So I'm going to search for Sunpoint South. And here I see my demo event. I click into that event anywhere on that card to take me into this payment moment where I enter my USAC membership ID and a payment for this event, which I will do off screen. Now I see that I've successfully purchased my event and I can either click this link, which will take me directly to, uh, if I'm on mobile, it will take me directly to the Kaya event within the app or in my email where I receive my receipt you can click in, see your receipt, and see a link to the event that you just unlocked um, right here in the email. So here on mobile, I click the link directly, and it takes me right into my event in Kaya. And you'll note that I have not finished joining the challenge, even though I have paid, now it's unlocked for me. To join the challenge and finish registration, you simply click this button here, join challenge. You have to input a little bit of information that we take from Kaya. This information, your hardest send in five tries, is not going to affect anything in your USA climbing competition. It's just data that we take from Kaya. You can adjust it later. It doesn't mean anything for the competition, but it is a field we need you to input. And then you'll be listing here, entering your category that you belong to. Uh, make sure to enter your competitor's correct category. Uh, and then click Finish. And now I see that registration has been completed. And when I click out of this, I see my name here on the leaderboard. Obviously, I don't have any points yet. I'm going to show you that piece in a second. But now you have created your account, paid for your event, finish registration for the challenge, and all there's left to do is begin competing. All right, now imagining that you are actually in the two week event period that you are participating. Now imagining that you are in the live event within the two week event window and you want to know how to find your climbs and log your climbs and videos in Kaya, I'm going to walk you through those steps. So the first thing to do is click on the green plus button. That's going to take you to these two options, logging a climbing session and creating a new post. You want to log a climbing session. Here you're going to get prompted with a variety of locations. Some of these will be built in and some of these will be the gym that you designated as your home gym at the beginning. If you don't see the gym that you need on this list, you can simply click the add button and here search for whatever gym you are trying to compete at or simply to see. So you might see if you're competing at climb so ill, you would see the climb so ill options, et cetera, et cetera. Then clicking onto that gym will add the location to this location homepage for you. And now I wanna actually go into the Sendpoint South gym. So I'm gonna click that, click done, and now I'm gonna be entered into the gym view. Some of you will note that the gym view may vary. Um, either your gym has just a list of boulders and actually just a list of USA climbing boulders, or your gym might have a map and all of the boulders in their gym. That depends on what type of partnership they've entered into with Kaya. Um, if they've entered just for the USA climbing events, all you'll see is a list of those boulders. If you have a list of all of the boulders in your gym and you're trying to find just the boulders that are participating boulders in the USA climbing competition, the way that you do that is using this filtering function here at the top of the list. Um, move over to tags and here under tags you'll get to search by a variety of different tags that the route setters use and very importantly for the USA climbing competitions, the USAC youth tags. By selecting that filter now I see only a list of the USA climbing boulders. They are numbered um, and they include the special USAC tag. You can only accrue points for this challenge based off of, off of climbs that are specifically tagged and designated by the route setters as USAC routes. 
So there's a few different ways that you can actually log these boulders in Kaya. I'm going to show you one flow right now, which is using the swiping function. So you can log boulders in Kaya by simply swiping to the right. That's going to auto start a flow for you where you input information about the climb. You can be prompted here to add a video to your climb. Now, you don't need to add a video right at this moment, but you can. You can upload here and then uh, you, if you want to, you can add more information about the climb. You can describe it. Um, for this particular gym, I need to uh, add a suggested grade. You will not need to add a suggested grade to your climbs because all the gyms will be designating and naming uh, grades for their climbs just in this demo account. So then I save my video and I save my data for that climb. And now I see that Kaya has recognized my attempt and my send. And you'll see here that a logbook has created and a session timer has been created. These are training tools that we developed for users on Kaya so that you can keep track of your detailed timing, intensity, um, and your climbing workouts. But with respect to USA Climbing, they're not looking at any of these minute by minute data, um, data points. This is really training tools that are developed for Kaya users. So you want to continue logging by swiping. Um, adding new boulders to your logbook. And of course, you'll see that you'll continue to be prompted to add information about the climb. Again, just for this demo account and demo gym, I need to suggest grade. You won't have to do that for the USA Climbing competitions. Um, I'll save that data. And then to end my session, you can always come back and edit your session, but to end your logging session, then you can simply click the stop button here. And then that's gonna prompt you to kind of wrap your session up um, in, in the Kaya world. So you can choose to either edit data here by using the pencil, I'll show you again, the pencil icon next to each climb will prompt you to edit your data. So that's where you can add photos or videos, add videos for USA Climbing um, and input any other information you wanna save. Uh, and then here you're prompted to note, you can add session notes. These are personal notes, only you will see them. Um, and you can choose to either create a post and share this with the Kaya world um, and share your media and your notes if you're excited about your USA climbing um, accomplishments and see the media flows in right here. And I'll say, great USAC first comp in the books at some point. So, um, and I can share that with the Kaya feed. Uh, and at the same time, I'm saving all of that data on Kaya. And now when I go back to the activity dashboard using this lightning bolt, you'll note that in my demo event, my points have been updated to reflect the climbs that I have now logged. Um, so this is really, pretty much what you need to do to compete in USA Climbing. Thank you so much for walking through these steps with us. Uh, congratulations on downloading Kaya, creating a new Kaya account, finding and paying for your event through kayaclimb.com, finishing registration on the Kaya app, and then to begin competing and logging your boulders and your videos. Uh, we are super excited to be able to support and enable this season of competitions despite some very difficult world conditions. We encourage you all to compete safely. We wish you luck. And if you have any questions, you can visit kayaclimb.com support. You'll find a series of support articles and videos walking you through these steps that we did today. And if there are anything that we haven't covered, then you can always submit a ticket to Kaya by clicking contact um, on that kayaclimb.com slash support website. Write in and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, best of luck to all the competitors and the parents out there. We're rooting for you. We hope you can compete safely and we are looking forward to seeing you on Kaya. Thank you.